Miro reportedly re-signs with AEW, Dolph Ziggler wins NXT Championship, and more. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest, and today we got lots of contract updates, as well as a brand new NXT champion to talk about, but let's go ahead and kick things off with some AEW contract news. Miro reportedly signs four-year AEW contract extension. The former TNT champion will be in AEW through the start of 2026. Even though he hasn't been in an AEW ring since November 2021, Miro's future with the company appears to be as firm as Fightful reported Wednesday that the former TNT champion has signed a four-year extension. They reported the deal will keep Miro in AEW through at least the start of 2026. Fightful Select also added that the two sides agreed to terms in late 2021, but that it took some time for the contract to officially get signed. Outside a handful of short vignettes, Miro hasn't been seen in AEW since his November 13th Full Gear lost to Brian Danielson in the finals of the World Title Eliminator Tournament. No reason has been given for his absence. He has wrestled just twice since losing the TNT title to Sammy Guevara on the September 29th Dynamite, both in November. I, for one, have been enjoying Miro's vignettes, but let's be real, I want to see him in the ring kicking ass. Ever since he lost the TNT Championship, there hasn't been much to do with Miro on AEW Dynamite or even Rampage. So hopefully now that he's re-signed this new deal, we get to see more of God's favorite champion, Miro. And on to some more contract news, Eddie Edwards has re-signed with Impact Wrestling. The 38-year-old has been with the company since 2014. Despite turning on Team Impact as part of a recent angle with disgruntled former Ring of Honor wrestlers, Eddie Edwards has re-signed a new deal with Impact Wrestling. The news was revealed by Sports Illustrated, however, the length of the contract wasn't disclosed. Edwards joined the Honor No More ROH faction at last month's No Surrender as a former ROH roster member himself. Edwards held the Impact World title for just under two months in the summer of 2020. He is also a two-time X Division champion and a five-time tag team champion, all held during the TNA era. I'm happy to see that Eddie Edwards will remain with Impact Wrestling. I love all the work that he does with them. And also, if you haven't been watching Impact Wrestling, they really have been killing it. So check them out. But now let's go ahead and hop into some WWE news because two of their current stars have been nominated at the Kids' Choice Awards. Take a look. Sasha Banks and Xavier Woods have both received Kids' Choice Awards nominations. Sasha Banks is nominated for Favorite Female Sports Star, while Woods is nominated for Favorite Male Social Media Creator. And of course, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and John Cena are also nominated for Favorite Movie Actor. Well, congratulations to both Sasha Banks and Xavier Woods for being nominated. Now let's go ahead and hop into something that had the internet buzzing. Last night on NXT 2.0, they crowned a brand new NXT champion in Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler defeated former champ Braun Breaker and Tommaso Ciampa in a three-way to win the NXT championship on NXT's Roadblock. As Ciampa set Breaker up for a running knee strike, Ziggler's Dirty Dogs teammate Robert Roode pulled Breaker out of Ciampa's path and out of the ring. Ziggler capitalized by hitting a super kick to Ciampa, then pinning him to win the title. The roadblock result would seem to set up Ziggler versus Breaker's title match for Stand and Deliver on Saturday, April 2nd, although no announcement has been made as of yet. Braun Breaker's first reign with the NXT title ends at 63 days as he held the title since defeating Ciampa on the New Year's Evil NXT 2.0 episode on January 4th. And Braun Breaker had just made his WWE Raw debut the night before. Dolph Ziggler has now held the NXT title, World Heavyweight title, United States title, Intercontinental title, World Tag Team title, Raw Tag title, and the SmackDown Tag Team title in his 15 plus years on the WWE roster. Additionally, he held the Money in the Bank briefcase on one occasion. 
How do you guys feel about this? Do you think that having Dolph Ziggler as champion adds to the NXT 2.0 brand? Do you think we're going to be seeing Braun Breaker move up to the main roster? Uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below how you felt about this decision. But other than that, that is a wrap for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Tonight, we have AEW Dynamite. I will be live immediately after the show. And then, chances are I'll be back here with some news. But in the meantime, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't already, make sure to give me some love and follow me on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, everyone. Before you go, make sure to check out some of our other videos, including CM Punk and Tony Khan sharing their thoughts on Ring of Honor. And you can also check out my NXT post-show review where I go in depth and talk about Dolph Ziggler becoming NXT champion.